Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Angel and Spirit Guide money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. Now do note that this reading is not dated because I am of the firm belief that whenever you come across it is the exact moment that spirit and your angels wanted you to find this message. So let's see what your angels and spirit have to say as I shuffle the spirit animal cards. These will be your totem animals for this time, just to tell you, like, if you see this animal, remember this message, that's what spirit, that's what your angels will be saying to you. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Ooh, goodness. Okay. So right here, it's going to be the first one, which is the Nightingale Spirit. Oh, I love that. Love is all around you. And the Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. So love is all around you when it comes to your prosperity, when it comes to your success, when it comes to you moving forward. And you're going to be able to see two sides of the coin during this time. This is true. That is true. And you might even find yourself being a bit of a mediator during this time or somebody that people come to for like common sense. That's what I'm really seeing here. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. So this one right here, which is the I am presence. Oh, that's powerful. And this one right here, listening. So listening to your I am presence is going to be very powerful for you during this time, knowing where you stand, knowing what it is that you want. Also, your crown chakra, your thoughts are going to be very on point. And your throat chakra, what you speak becomes what is. So be very mindful and very aware of your words. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Aries, money and career. Show me clearly. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. There we go. At the center of everything you have, the death card. This is a Scorpio energy, a time frame, October 23rd to November 26th. November 26th, no, November 21st, there we go. Then we have the Prince of Wands. That is you most definitely a fire sign energy shining through. You're ready for it. You're ready for change. You're ready for power. You're ready to move forward. You have the Strength card. Also, there's a strong Leo presence here. So you have a strong Scorpio, a strong Leo presence. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Rebirth, which is the World card in the Rider Waite Smith deck. So that's beautiful. Then we have the Hermit, which is a Taurus energy, okay, a time frame of April 20th to May 20th. And then we have the Princess of Swords. So what's really cool about this deck, and this is the Dru Druid Craft deck, it'll be linked in the description box below, is that it doesn't have pages, it has princesses, princesses, knights, you know, princesses, princesses, prince. Kings and Queens. Yeah, that's what it has. There we go. We have the Two of Wands. Oh, I like that. The Six of Pentacles. Oh, very nice. And the Nine of Wands, which is the card that kind of popped out before while I was shuffling kind of popped it, but it was it was too soon. It was too soon. It could have been it couldn't be taken out. Alright. So this is really powerful because you're going to see that love surrounds you. And you're going to see yourself reborn in a very powerful way when it comes to work, when it comes to your priorities, when it comes 
to the way that you look at money, something is shifting. Now, it can be that you're putting more value on your family and you might say, okay, time is precious during you know, this time period and you want to be with those that you love. So you might be reprioritizing things, not making less money at all. That's not what I'm saying, but there is a sense here of really looking at what you desire, what you want and making some, it's not hard calls, but they're the right calls for you. So if you're on the fence about something, now's the time to really listen to your heart, all right? And it's also to know that you're surrounded by love. Love is all around you. Making a decision from the heart areas might seem very counterintuitive, especially to a fire sign, but you have this profound intuition. And yes, you'll usually go from your, from your gut, but now it's time to go from your heart. And you're going to sa- to find that it is profoundly powerful. And then you have the dolphin spirit coming in, which says this and that are true. As I said before, and as spirit was saying, you may very well be a mediator during this time or the person who, like you have one extreme view over here and you have the other extreme view over here, you're right in the middle. And that's going to be something that's going to really lead you towards peace, lead you towards prosperity, lead you towards wisdom. It's not moving towards extremes during this time. It's being able to take and and put together people's ideas, people's wants, people's needs from it can be two polarizing sides, but it's going to be two people like they might not just be able to see eye to eye when it comes to work or, you know, you might be, there's something here where, where two people might not get along and it can be, you know, a Leo energy and an air sign energy. Okay. Or a Scorpio energy. And you are the go between or not the go between, but you are the harmonizing. You're that person right in the middle there bringing them together. So you have here, you do have a lot of people that show up. You have Leo, you have Scorpio, and you have here Taurus. So it can be that you're that balancing fact that there's a lot of creativity and there's this sense of a rebirth and a power. And there is also going to need to be an understanding of words, you know, not being too sharp tongued, not being too, you know, this is the way it has to be. So if you're working with somebody like that, or if you know somebody like that, this during this time, or dealing with something where it's all very cut and dry, it's not going to be as cut and dry as somebody would like you to believe or as they would like you to see it. So here with the I am presence, the I am presence is the crown chakra. This is, you know, spiritual awakeness, awakening. This is peace. This is clarity. This is a union with your higher self. This is really coming into power and embracing what you desire. But this is saying, I am prosperous. I am bountiful. And you might start saying this, you know, I like to say I am enough. And when I started saying this, it really rebelled against me. I was like, how could you say I am enough? You know, there is so much I need to do. There is such a long road to walk. What do you mean I am enough? And so here with the I am presence, you might have kind of this visceral, this very kind of powerful reaction to something when you're saying I am prosperous, I am wealthy. You know, you might turn around and say, yeah, but wealth, money is the root of all evil. And so then you know that you have to purge, detox yourself from that mentality because money isn't the root of all evil. It's the want of money. It's putting money above people, putting money above love. That is the root of all evil. And so here, there is this balance that's coming forward. And there is this beauty that's coming forward. And you're seeing yourself profoundly, becoming profoundly exquisite during this time. And as you embrace this I am presence, listening, listening to what you truly want, listening to who you are, listening to what your insides, what your gut is saying, but also to the world around you. And saying, you know what, maybe I don't want that to be part of my conscious stream. You know, maybe I don't want to look at the world this way or that way. Maybe I'm going to take this view. You know, maybe I'm going to look at it differently. And that's going to be very powerful for you, listening to yourself, but also listening to the words around you and the world around you. Because there is going to be something here where you're like, you know what, no, that's not right, but this is the path. You know, that's not my truth. And so here, when you have... The death card showing up, again, this is a dying away of the old old self, a rebirth of the new. So this is rebirth, right? Right above rebirth. So this is very, very beautiful. This is also with the Scorpio energy time frame, October 23rd to November 21st. This is 
looking at things and saying, okay, all things do have an end. All things have an end. So when you are looking at your career, you might be saying, how do I want, where do I want to be in six years? You know, where, where do I want to be as I move forward? Because here there is a wisdom to you and it's a sharing it with others. You know, what is it that you are desiring? Where is it that you want to be? And here, what's so interesting is you don't see the other people. You just see his generosity. So during this time, as you're contemplating, as you're understanding, as you are turning away from something that no longer is right for you because you are reawakening and you are coming into your own very powerfully, you, you are given, giving with generosity, but be mindful of people who take advantage. You can very well be one of those people who sits there and sees it. You know, you know that person is taking advantage of you. You know that person is selling you a sob story, but you still move forward with your truth, with your power. But there is also going to be a point here during this time, Aries, where you need to put down your, fir- your foot, where you need to say, you know what, no, okay? I need to move forward in the power and the truth of me, and I need to move forward not spreading myself so thin that what you produce is not going to be as powerful. So just be mindful of this energy during this time where here with the six of pentacles, it's being able to give and it's being able to receive. If you drain your cup without ever getting the cup refilled, you will feel like a hollow shell, right? Here, it's understanding that there's so much more out there. There's so much power. There's so much truth. And what I love is that you have this mature woman right here you have this little boy walking out, you know, of this place of ritual and purpose. And so here, it is being reborn with the sun. It is understanding that each day is a new start, a new power, a beautiful truth. And this leads you to the Prince of Wands. Now, the Prince of Wands is most definitely you, Aries. You are represented by the wands in the minor arcana. You are represented by the emperor in the major arcana. You want to move forward. There is a sense of, that's it. I'm going, you know, I'm charging forward. I'm going after what I want. I'm going after what I need. And there's nothing and no one who will stop me. And this is fantastic energy to have. You know, you're going to be a real go-getter during this time. You're going to be looking at things and like, that's it. I see it. I'm going for it. Just be mindful. Be very mindful of the strength that you carry. Be very mindful of the impact your words will have. Be very mindful of the two sides of the story that is going to be so important to your narrative during this time, going to be so important to you during this time. Because if you go off and act instantaneously and you sit there and say, this is what I want, I'm going after it, but you will be affecting others, okay? And you're not taking into account the way that they see things, the way that they understand things, Things are going to start to stumble for you. Things aren't going to move as smoothly, as beautifully as you would like them to. So as you are moving forward, this is a person of tremendous passion. You know, there's also directionally fire sign energy points to the south, okay, points south. So it can be that there is this sense, and I'm just seeing here like the sun warming you. There is this sense of power guiding you. This is being dynamic. This is really being intuitive. This is being a visionary during during this time. This is, you know, really seeing what other people do not see. And this is going to lead you towards, because the two of wands, okay, this is, again, crowned with fire sign energy, right? Because we have two wands right here. And the two of wands is twin flame card, okay? It is your passion coming forward. Now, it can be that there is there's a calling that you have during this time and you need to answer it with every ounce of your being, with the depth of your soul. So there can be, when you kind of have to step back and look at things, that can seem counterintuitive. That can seem the exact opposite of what you want to do, but it is going to be important. It isn't saying take days upon days, but it is saying here, slow things down. Slow things down and really look at what you want and what you need as you're moving forward, as you're going after what is truly desired. And as you do so, you're going to find that passion really guides you. That's why love surrounds you 
Love is all around you. Love surrounds you during this time with the nightingale. There's something beautiful. I just think of the nightingale and I think of this beautiful, beautiful song. There's something beautiful around you. It can be a song that you hear or it can be, you know, something of nature like a bird singing and it just touches you in a way that you wouldn't have thought of before because love crowns you. And as it crowns you, because this nightingale has a crown, you know, as it crowns you, it empowers you, it invigorates you, and it moves you towards this rebirth of self. Now, this is, of course, the judgment card in the Major Arcana. The rabbits in Celtic mythology definitely represent witchcraft. And I'm not saying witchcraft that you have to believe in conjuring, but what it represents, it's magic. All right. So here the boy walks out of the tomb and I, oh, I forget the name of this tomb, but this is the one where the sun shines through and, you know, on the, on the solstice and it is, it's just amazing. So here it's walking out with the light of the sun and it's embracing your, your magic, you know, either if you believe in conjuring magic, then most definitely it's a renewal of that, but also it's a renewal of the God's head within you, your personal power, your personal, you know, desire to move forward to something greater and it's being heralded it's being sung about it's being you know rewarded as you move forward so there is a sense of and it doesn't have to be that other people reward you for this herald you for it say oh my gosh what a good job Aries though wouldn't that be cool if they did this is your angels around you this is your angels saying I'm here for you I'm moving forward with you I'm celebrating everything that you've been through and then we have the nine of wands the nine of wands is almost kind of like the polar opposite because here it's like, oh my gosh, you see how, you know, kind of worn this man is it's like, oh, I've worked so hard. And here it's not letting the outside world because you see how he has the spikes up. So this can be for spears, right? But also putting these in trenches as disgusting as it sounded, as it sounds back in the time where horses were used and cavalry was used that way for battle it would cut the horses as they jumped over. So it would be this fantastic line of defense, this fantastic line of protection. You're going to see that you don't need to protect yourself from the outside world. I mean, okay, so you always need to protect yourself from the outside world, but it's not going to be so violently. It's not going to be you against the world. It's going to be like, listen, you have your opinions, you have your ideas, that's great for you. I honor and respect you because you are a living being, but I don't honor and respect you to the point where I negate and put down and disrespect myself. So the world is coming at you as the world does in its way. And you stay firm to yourself, to your truth, to your power, to your blessings, because they are mighty. They are absolutely mighty. And if you start like feeling overwhelmed by the world, yes, then put up your defenses. Know that my goodness, you can stand your ground, you know, and you can you can dish it out with the best of them, Aries. I mean, you are represented by the emperor. You are represented by the goddess, the god of war in, in Greek mythology. I mean, you have this ferocity to you that is astounding. But do you want to bring out the big guns during this time? Because there is something beautiful and peaceful for you. So just be mindful because you're going to want to kind of get here really quickly with the nine of wands when it comes to work, when it comes to your career, when it comes to what you're passionate about. And really, if you embrace your inner truth, your inner magic, your inner God's head, I mean, there's just going to be power around you that is exquisite, which leads to the hermit. This is also going to be a time where you turn inward a lot. Now, I think I said before the hermit, I... Yeah, I said this was the Hierophant, and I do apologize. This is the Hermit. This is a Virgo energy. So this is August 23rd to September 22nd. So this is turning inward. This is seeing your inner light. This is having, you know, <coughs> here he has his dog, this wolf by his side, somebody who is loyal, somebody who is true, somebody who loves him unconditionally without, you know, needing, needing to have him, you know, it's like without dragging him down. That's really what I'm seeing here. So with the hermit, you are turning towards your light. You are turning towards your truth. You are seeing things powerfully and beautifully for yourself. As you do so, you're moved forward. 
as you do so, you look inward. And there's going to be this desire to want to give to others. Embrace it, yes, because giving to others is fantastic. But don't embrace it to the point that you give everything away. Because again, there has to be that symbiotic relationship. There has to be that you are taken care of as much as you take care of others during this time. Following your inner light and your inner truth is going to be profound for you, which leads you to the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is looking at what you desire. And I love here you have the eight and then the seven. So that countdown right there. And yeah, and then the nine. Oh, wow. Okay, sorry. So here with the seven of cups, you have one cup right here. That's a real cup. Now these cups could be the illusion of what he's seeing, what he is dreaming of, the beauty, the prosperity, the wealth, the bounty, or they can be at the bottom of the lake. But I really do view this as him kind of daydreaming and seeing everything that he can have, but he's not seeing the main gift that is before him. So with the Seven of Cups, it warns against daydreaming. Daydreaming is fantastic. Visualization, daydreaming, you know, that's what we need to do. But the difference and the warning between daydreaming and visualization is slight. It may seem rather slight, but it is absolutely profound because during this time, you are going to be looking at what you want, all right? You might actually be dealing with somebody who isn't that really, isn't that much of a team player, all right? doesn't have to be a Virgo energy, but it's somebody who really follows their inner light, shines very brightly in what they do, but it's caught up in their mind. Might think that they are a little bit more important than they actually are. Again, this doesn't have to be a Virgo. So if you're cross-watching and you're a Virgo, I'm not saying anything nasty about you. I am just giving a warning for Aries because this is something they are going to come up against during this time. When you're looking at things, you might very well have to be this mediator for this person, but also kind of put down your foot and say, okay, listen, we kind of have to reel it in. Look at the gift that you have right here, and let's focus on this right now because we're moving forward in a very real way, and you're kind of having to defend this person to other people, and you're not really keen with that, or you know, you feel as if this person isn't taking you seriously because they have such abstract ideas when it comes to things, or they have this one vision and they're not sharing it with you and you're kind of in the dark. So just be mindful of this during this time, all right? Because it's not going to be something that makes you feel really happy, but when everything gets smoothed over, when things work out, you're going to be really proud of the way you handled it, the way that you're moving forward, because you have the Princess of Swords right here. And the Princess of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, this is a sense of learning your mind and what you want, diving deeper into what you desire, and doing so with strength. So this is an Air Sign Energy, again, and a Leo Energy. So you might very well find that you're dealing with people during this time that mentally think very quickly. Now, air sign energy points towards the east. This is intellect. This is clear thinking. Sunrises, you know, are going to be important. It's just the sense of, you know, seeing things clearly, new days, start of days, the way you handle the start of your day is really going to impact your strength, the power that you feel for the rest of the day. So do be mindful about this. Yes, we can all get caught up in everything, but just be mindful of how you start your days because it is going to be very important for you. There are going to be ideas that come your way. So if you, you know, keep your phone on and kind of can record your ideas or jot them down in a notebook, this is going to be something that you find yourself referencing. This is going to be something that you look at and you're like, oh, okay, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is how I want to move forward. Because whether it's for your job or something that you are astoundingly passionate about, you're going to see things kind of falling into alignment. Now, with the strength card, you are stronger than you think you are. You really, really are. And again, the Leo energy is July 23rd to August 22nd. There is a strength. There is a power. There is a vigor to you. And you're like, I got this. I see it. I understand it. And I'm moving forward towards it. The boar right here, I love that she has this boar and the sword is on the side. So this boar hasn't been tamed through violence, right? There are no blood marks. This boar has been tamed through love. And that's why love is all around you. Love surrounds you. And it really does help you make the most unlikely allies, okay, move forward in a profound, a profound and beautiful way, which has new avenues opening up to you, which has you seeing things differently, which has you astoundingly passionate as you move forward. And there is going to be the sense of 
being able to give to others prosper prosperity. You know, we're looking at things here and the two cards that you have that really signify money in this in the spread is the six of pentacles, right? And here you are giving money to others. So you will have money to spend. You might have to spend it very, very, very wisely during this time. All right. Because he doesn't look like, you know, kind of that fat cat on the hill kind of thing. And it's, it's turning inward. It's being like, okay, what do I want? What do I need? And what do I desire? Because you're looking at things so differently than you have. And you're really finding that truth embracing that balance and moving forward in that figure. So do know here that money is coming to you. There is a sense of prosperity. The hermit just doesn't need a lot of it. So it's not going to be a windfall, though I know you want it to be. It, it's going to be what you give out, you get back. And what you see really lights your path. So I don't want you to sit there and think, oh my gosh, it's going to be like I win a hundred million bazillion dollars. There is prosperity. There is a sense you definitely keep yourself secure. Money comes. But there is something here where you're looking at the bigger picture. You're looking at what you truly desire, what you truly need. And as you have that aha moment, you'll see that your cup is always full. You'll see that the prosperity is always there. And it's kind of like you return on your investment. What you give, you get back. But you cannot, in areas I want to stress this during this time, you cannot give without expecting anything to get anything back. You will drain yourself dry. You will feel resentful, overwhelmed, and it will ruin this time for you. Okay? So when it comes to money, that is the that that's the powerful message because you're going to have this kind of caregiver, this kind of I'll take care of it all mentality, which is great and wonderful and my goodness, can you take care of things, especially when it comes to work. But you don't want to be taken advantage of. So just be mindful of this because there is a power and a force and a determination that you are moving forward in when it comes to work, that you are moving from feeling as if you have to defend yourself, feeling as if you'll never get there, feeling as if you've dreamed an unbelievable dream, like an unachievable dream, to saying, oh no, I'm stepping into it. I'm stepping into my greatness, my power, my truth. I am reborn. The angels are with me. I am guided. And your light shines so bright. Like you shine almost as bright as the sun. Your subconscious message for this time is the four of pentacles. So it's opening up the chest to wealth, most definitely. I always say, I always see the four of pentacles as also being very aware of emotional vampires, of people who you kind of need to stay, safeguard yourself against. But you de are definitely doing it here with having this treasure chest. You know, having this chest right here where you keep your wealth. So just be mindful of people being jealous. Just be mindful of feeling like you have to hold on to things because you're going, that's going to be where the negative starts coming in where you feel like, oh my gosh, I have to hold on to this or it's all going to fall apart. No, you're doing really, really, really well. So, so don't think like that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're doing a lot, a lot better than you think you are at times. Yeah. Cause you're going to have this thing that just comes up. Like we all do like, Oh my gosh, you know, if only I was this, if only I was that, things would be so much better. I'd be so much more successful. I can't believe, you know, and you, you'll kind of want to rip into yourself. Don't, don't. And if you do, if you find it, if you can stop yourself and then change the narrative, change what you are saying, change that voice in your head to look at what I've achieved. Look at how hard I've worked. You know, what the heck? Get off my back, you know, and you're talking to yourself. Give yourself a break because you more than deserve it. Your subconscious. Yeah, peace. Chakra energy is peace. Again, talking to the ground chakra, talking to your mind, talking to yourself. Embrace peace. Embrace the peace of what you want. Embrace the peace of your heart. Embrace Embrace the jewel of life, which is being in harmony and peace with yourself. And your subconscious spirit animal message is the owl spirit, which says, you see clearly now. After this time, as you are moving forward and as you are being guided by your heart, your I am presence, your mind, your, your truth, as you are cutting through doubts and fears, as you are passionate but not letting that passion overwhelm you, as you know your mind and where you stand but not being sharp-tongued or cruel, you are going to see that you see clearly and you see more clearly than ever before. And there's a wisdom and a power to you. All right, Aries, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you, and I love you all. Bye.